Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome, and I really hope you like it here. So, today I'm going to be bathing two of our horses, Sunny and Ronnie. Not sure if you've met Sunny before, I think he made a brief appearance in my last video, but I didn't really say much about him, so I will introduce you to him more today. I'm going to be bathing them both because tomorrow and Tuesday we have a two-day clinic. Mum and I and our friend is coming as well with her horse, we're going to be here for that, so we want them to be nice and sparkly and beautiful and looking their best. So I'm going to get everything set up. We have a little station, if you like, down the end of the yard. So I'll get all of that set up and then I'm going to head down the field and bring him in and get started. This is the shampoo and conditioner I'm going to be using on Sunny today. We use this on all the horses, it's mainly long hair is the brand and they do shampoo conditioner, they also do a detangler uh, which I'll probably use today um, but yeah I really like these, they make them super soft and silky and really shiny. I don't actually use them on Ronnie because I use a special shampoo on him um, but for the rest of the horses this is what we use. I also always use my pony jet. I was sent this a couple of months ago and I kid you not, I've used it every single bath ever since. It really is worth the hype. Um, it cuts the time in half. It uses a lot less shampoo and water and I just love it. So this is Sunny Boy. He is a Welsh Section D. I believe he is 12. I'm not entirely sure, I won't lie, um, but I think he's 12. Um, and yeah, he's just lovely. So here is my first victim of the bathing. Are you ready to be bathed? Are you ready? Yeah. Well, you, you're going to have to be because you are having a bath and you're going to look so gorgeous. Let's get your water. Scrubby scrub time. <laughs> all right, so pony jet's all hooked up and ready to go. The tank and the water is on let's switch it on get it going there it goes okay let's do a quick little before and after of mr sunny i have given him a quick brush <laughs> hello that's helpful yeah so here's the before his white socks are definitely not white at the moment so yeah
Okay, so now it's time to do his socks, and I'm going to need to bring out the big guns for this. And um, where is it? I'll just use this as a watered down version, but it's basically this purple shampoo is what I'm looking for. Yuck. Look at those. <laughs> so the diluted stuff is not doing the job for me, so I have got the concentrated stuff, so we're going to give this a go. Okay, and let's do a quick little after. So he's obviously not really in the sun, but you can see how shiny he is now. And I kind of got most of the dirt out of his socks, although again, you can't really see. I think you'd be able to see if it was in the sun. You can sort of see how white they are there. So yeah, not a bad job. So I'm just gonna set him up with a hay net and let him drip dry a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to get his fly rug with a neck out and pop that on him in case he rolls in the field, which he will. Oh, there we go. He's a bit more in the sun now. You can see how shiny he is. Shiny boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was a very good boy. He always is to bath. Um, so I'm just going to set him up, let him dry a little bit, have my coffee, and then I will turn him out and go and get Ronnie and start on... Pony number two. Mr. Gorgeous Man set up with his hay net. He's very happy now. Here's a bit of a better after for you. Looking much better. And I just need to brush his tail. He's actually really starting to dry already. Um, but yeah, not too shabby. Hey, buddy. You handsome boy. Mr. Blondie. <laughs> Just give him some food and he's very, very happy indeed. <laughs> All right, I've had my coffee and I've come back out to finish off his grooming session. So I just need to put some detangler through his tail and brush his tail out. Um, and then I'm just going to pop his fly rug on to keep him clean when he rolls. It's not an if, it's a when. Um, get a clean fly mask out for him and then he's all done and I'll be ready to move on to Ronnie. and he is ready to go back in the field. Hopefully that will keep him relatively clean. Um, but yeah. Should we turn you back out then, buddy? You're a good boy. <laughs> These fly masks look so funny, but they're so good because they don't touch their eyes, so. Let's go. He's back in his field and off we go, onwards. I am flagging 
but it'll be worth it when Ronnie is absolutely gleaming. So I'm going to channel the energy from my coffee and cake and go and get him and crack on. We move. Before I go and get Ronnie, it's actually getting closer to their dinner time, so I'm going to take Mojo's feed up because she's next door to Ronnie, feed her while I'm up there, and then leave Ronnie's feed down here and he can have it before we start. And then while he's drying, I'm going to feed Sunny and River. So I'm going to mix the ponies' feeds now, and then I'll mix Sunny and River's feeds closer to the time. I've just come up and fed Mojo and he thinks he's not going to get fed. And you are not happy, are you? No, you're not. Yours is at the yard. I'm going to go down and eat it. Okay? <laughs> go on then. Yeah. boy <laughs> I told you I promised you <laughs> so just while he's eating this is what we're dealing with today <laughs> oh dear Ronnie's got Cushing's so his coat he kind of doesn't really get a summer coat he just kind of I clip him in the winter um, and then he slowly grows his winter coat back through again and it starts off a bit thinner in the summer and then towards the end of the summer it's already really thick so that's what we're working with okay we're ready to go with pony number two and this is the shampoo that I like to use on him it's the Pro Equine Bug Buster and it's got neem oil in it um, although it's good for repelling flies that's not actually why I use it it's super super conditioning and it's really good for his skin it's all natural um, so I absolutely love this and it really suits him down to a tee so big fan of this one hi beanie <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to pop some conditioner in his mane and tail. This is the one that I like to use. It smells incredible, like you would want to use it on yourself, kind of incredible. Anyway, so yeah, this is really good. Uh, and I'm just going to pop that in his mane and tail, and then I'm going to do his socks, which will be fun, because it's a lot of bending and scrubbing. But at least he hasn't got as much white on him as Sunny does. <laughs>
Okie dokie, he is all done. I'm just going to pop his dry rug on to help him dry quicker. You look so handsome! Oh, not anymore. <laughs> He's such a satisfying colour to bath. Look at that. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's get your dry rug on then, shall we? he's having a little snack and drying off in his dry rug I'm going to feed the other two and tidy up as we've got a little messy situation going on on the yard and then I'll turn him out when he's had a chance to dry off a little bit but he looks so good I also need to give him a little tidy up I need to trim his mane and his tail which has got so long look how long that's got so yeah, I'm going to give him a little trim up once I've fed the other horses and then hopefully he'll be dry enough to put back out. I'm going to put a fly rug on him as well because sod's law, he's not a huge roller but he will definitely roll today. <laughs> I can just feel it. I just know, it's just how it goes, isn't it? Yeah. He's like, oh, you want me to be clean today? Hmm. Let's see what I can do. take a moment for how glossy his mane is. How amazing does that look? <gasps> wow! Look at that, Ronnie! So gorgeous! <laughs> So I've just been going in with the scissors just to take some of the initial length off but then I'm going to go in with this comb which has a blade inside um, so you kind of back comb it and cut the under layer shorter until eventually your whole sort of mane ends up shorter and the reason we use this is because we don't really like pulling um, and neither do the horses so it's just much easier for both of us if we use this. It's not my best job but it's shorter than it was and it looks okay so <laughs> I'm happy. I'm getting hungry for my dinner so I'm just going to trim his tail and shape it at the end and then pop his rug on and turn him back out. I've finished trimming him up and then I'm just going to pop this sweet itch rug on him which I got specifically for times like these when I needed to turn him out but keep him clean because it does up nice and securely and it won't go anywhere with no holes in it or anything so the dirt can't get through. So we're going to pop that on you now. <laughs> He's ready to go. My jousting pony's back in his field. <laughs> yeah, I'll clean your schnozzle off tomorrow because you're only going to eat and get it dirty again. Can't see you, hang on. Ta da! <laughs> I've had to leave that one undone because the belly flaps too long. <laughs> but it's all tucked away safe, so. Yep. Right. I'm going to go and clear up and have my dinner. And that 
is why I bothered to put it on. <laughs> Monkey! Okay, so I'm pretty much done now. Um, I've been in and had my dinner. I didn't get a chance to feed the other two horses before my dinner was ready. Um, Dad kindly made it for me tonight, so went in and had that, and then I'm just gonna quickly feed the other two, clear up the remainder of the bits on the yard, and then that's me all done for the evening. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, something a little bit different, just something quite satisfying, I think. Um, so the boys are all ready for their big two days um, tomorrow and Tuesday. That's it from me. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you might want to see next from me. And yeah, see you later guys. Bye.